Listen everybody To the words I have to say Better get ready Because the Lord is coming one day is Daniel White the third with the second coming watch update. This is update number 303. Let's take a quick look at today's prophecy related headlines which point towards the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ and the end of the world as we know it. First up according to the Jerusalem Post The Turkish foreign minister slammed Israel for strikes in Syria last week as well as Syria for its failure to respond to the attacks. A Turkish newspaper reported him as saying, Why didn't Assad even throw a pebble when Israeli jets were flying over his palace and playing with the dignity of his country? Why didn't the Syrian army, which has been attacking its own innocent people for 22 months, respond to Israel's operation? He further suggested that Assad's inaction was due to a secret agreement with Israel and vowed that Turkey would not sit still in the face of an Israeli attack on any Muslim country. Second today, according to the Washington Times, a jihadist website posted a new threat by Al-Qaeda this week that promises to conduct shocking attacks on the United States and the West. The message in Arabic stated that the coming strikes by Al-Qaeda will be in the heart of the land of non-belief, America, and in France, Denmark, other countries in Europe, and in the countries that helped and are helping France. The attacks will be strong, serious, alarming, earth-shattering, and terrifying. Third today, according to Morning Star News, A Christian in Algeria has been sentenced to one year in jail and a $635 fine for refusing to renounce his faith in Christ. A Muslim co-worker reported him to the authorities after he would not convert to Islam. His attorney says that the verdict is utterly unfounded as the conviction was handed down without the accused or the accuser being present in court. Fourth, today, according to the Associated Press, Iran has unveiled its newest combat jet, a domestically manufactured fighter bomber that military officials claim can evade radar. President Ahmadinejad said that building the dominant F-313 shows Iran's will to conquer scientific peaks. Tehran has repeatedly claimed to have developed advanced military technologies in recent years, but its claims cannot be independently verified because the country does not release technical details of its arsenals. Fifth today, according to the Jerusalem Post, outgoing U.S. Defense Secretary Leon Panetta accused Iran of of an intensified campaign to destabilize the Middle East by smuggling anti-aircraft weapons to militant allies. 
He said in an interview with the Wall Street Journal that there is no question when you start passing so-called man pads around, that becomes a threat, not just to military aircraft, but to civilian aircraft. That is an escalation. Uh, man pads, spelled M-A-N-P-A-D-S, are shoulder-fired anti-aircraft missiles. Western officials have worried about the spread of such weapons and the risk they pose to airline passengers as well as to military helicopters and jets. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bible says in 2 Peter 3, nine. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to us, Lord, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. You can read these stories in more detail and get more prophecy-related news at secondcomingherald.com. If you do not know the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior, may I encourage you to get to know him today. To do so, please understand that you are a sinner, just as I am, and that you have broken God's laws. However, in spite of your sins, God still loves you, and he does not want you to be separated from him forever in hell. Romans 5.8 tells us that God commendeth his love toward us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Because Jesus Christ died for your sins and for mine, all we have to do is believe in him and receive his free gift of salvation. If you do so, you will not have to suffer eternal punishment in hell. Rather, you will live eternally in heaven with God. Uh, that is the plan of salvation. Now, dear friend, if you believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins, was buried and rose again on the third day, and you want to invite him into your heart today to save your soul, please pray with me this simple prayer and mean it from your heart. Holy Father God, I realize that I am a sinner and that I have done some evil things in my life. For Jesus Christ's sake, please forgive me of my sins and help me, Lord, to repent of my sins, to turn from the old life and to follow you in my new life with you. I now believe with all of my heart that Jesus Christ died for me, was buried, and rose again. Lord Jesus, please come into my heart and save my soul and change my life today and forever. Amen. Now, dear friend, if you just trusted Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and you prayed that prayer I meant it from your heart, I declare to you that based upon the Word of God, you are now saved from hell and you're on your way to heaven and the devil cannot stop you. Welcome to the family of God, dear friend. I want to congratulate you on receiving Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. For more information to help you grow in your newfound faith in Christ, go to GospelLightSociety.com and read what to do after you enter through the door. Jesus Christ said in John 10:9, I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. In closing, beloved, remember the words of the Lord Jesus Christ in Matthew twenty four forty two. Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doeth come. Matthew twenty four forty four says, Therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not the Son of Man cometh. Now let us also join in the prayer of John the Revelator, who prayed, Even so come, Lord Jesus. God bless you, my beloved. You got to get your business straight. He's coming again. Yes, he's coming again. Don't